Ah, the enigma that is the Traveler sect. A mystery even to their compatriots. A mystery even to me. Traveler 59 is the newest sub-faction within the Traveler sect of the Skrin. There is already limited information on the Skrin faction as a whole, and even less is known about the Traveler sect, which is also known as the Cult of Traveler. What information we do know comes from the Intelligence Database, which states that Traveler specializes in subterfuge, focusing on destabilizing, infiltrating, and enslaving any alien species that rival the Skrin. Due to their covert nature, Traveler attempts to stay hidden and move quickly when carrying out missions. Ideally, they try to subjugate a population in a matter of days, but if these attempts fail, they can always fall back on more straightforward methods of dealing with the hostile species. Traveler 59 was attached to the Skrid mining fleet sent to the solar system that was in hibernation on the far side of Pluto. Before the invasion of planet Earth in the year 2047, they had yet to experience any combat on the battlefield. The Earth would be their proving ground, and ideally their first host planet. Due to the nature of their covert missions, Traveler 59 puts more of an emphasis on ground units. This is in contrast to other Skrin divisions that tend to focus on overwhelming their enemies through superior air power. One of the few unique units of the sect is the Cultist, according to the Intelligence Database. Perhaps the most twisted of the Traveler sect's quest to control the minds of all who oppose the Skrin, the Cultus is an unprecedented merging of two species, the heavily mutated insect-esque spawn of the Prodigy directly implanted into the brain of a human abductee. While the Skrin offspring's massive carapace makes it impossible for the Cultus to invisibly reassimilate into normal society, their limited mind control abilities and relative disposability make them an increasingly common frontline unit for Traveler. The small alien bugs on the back of the humans are offspring of another alien unit called the Prodigy. These offspring are considered a new and more efficient form of enslavement, capable of being directly implanted into the cerebral cortex of another life form. The human abductees of these offspring gain mind control capabilities, but this comes at the cost of complete subservience to Traveler. These mind control abilities allow them to, of course, control the minds of other humans, but they can also control other Skrin as well. The effect is even strong enough to take control of lifeforms inside lightly armored vehicles, such as harvesters, pit bulls, and raider buggies. Though heavy armored vehicles, such as the Predator and Scorpion tanks, are not affected. Of course, if the cultist is killed, then the effect is broken, and the mind controlled unit is set free. The mind is the cultist's greatest and only weapon but they can be fielded in large numbers, and like other Skrin infantry units, they can heal any wounds in Tiberium fields. Their default movement speed is slow, but that can be remedied with exclusive technology to the sect called Advanced Articulators. Not only does this increase the movement speed of the cultist, but of all the Traveler's infantry, with the exception being the Buzzer Swarms. Another technology unique to Traveler 59 are Traveler Engines. As the name implies, these upgraded engines increase the flight speed of Devastator warships and planetary assault carriers. However, this means the sect does not get access to force field generators for any of their ships or ground vehicles. They also don't have the Devourer tank in their arsenal, as the vehicle is too slow to keep up to the mobile-focused tactics of Traveler. The other unique mind control infantry unit amongst their ranks is the Prodigy, a more powerful version of the Mastermind. Years of experimentation, breeding, and genetic research have finally produced exactly what they seek. The Prodigy, a horrifically mutated Mastermind blessed with the ability to possess not just individual entities, but entire groups. The Prodigy is capable of blink teleporting itself onto the edges of an enemy encampment, seizing control of an entire regiment, and staging a mutiny without ever drawing attention to itself. 
Just like its mastermind predecessor, the Prodigy is able to directly mind control hostile infantry, vehicles, and structures. It can also teleport friendly units from one location to another, no matter how small or big those friendly units are. Where the Prodigy proves to be superior to the Mastermind is in its other exclusive abilities. The first being an area of effect mind control, which as the name implies, allows it to temporarily take control of a group of infantry or vehicles, with the exception of air units or human commandos. However, due to how powerful this ability is, this form of mind control is only temporary, in contrast to the permanence of direct mind control. The second ability is that the Prodigy comes equipped with its own personal blink pack, which allows it to teleport from one location to another. This is great for allowing it to cross chasms, climb cliffs, and evade damage or death. In addition, another infantry unit called the Shock Trooper is also outfitted with blink packs. Though Shock Troopers are an integral part of all Skrin sects, they usually have to upgrade these troops to have the blink packs, whereas with Traveler, they are equipped with them by default. In addition, Traveler 59 has exclusive access to a support power called Temporal Wormhole. This effectively replaces another Skrin support power called the Stasis Shield. The Temporal Wormhole allows a foreman to create a bubble where time is slowed. Movement speed is reduced to 25% of normal. Weapons fire rates are reduced to 50% of their normal rate. And even building construction is reduced by 50% as well, with the bubble itself lasting 30 seconds until disappearing. Rumors of a megalithic Skrin unit have been circulating amongst the populace in recent months. Though there is yet to be a confirmed sighting, tales of a massive, many-legged creature have spread rapidly throughout the Yellow Zones. Ghostly images, mostly taken from the edges of the infested Red Zones, show an enormous lumbering beast, its insectoid features illuminated by a fierce glow emanating from the center of its arthropodal body. Should these rumors prove to be true, maximum discretion is advised. And these rumors did prove to be true, culminating into what is known as the most powerful Skrin unit in the Traveler's arsenal, the Eradicator Hexapod. While all sub-factions of the Skrin are capable of fielding this massive creature, it was first fully seen and engaged by Nod forces in Africa during the Third Tiberium War. The destructive capabilities of the Eradicator is on a similar level to that of GDI's Marv or Nod's Redeemer constructs. What makes the Eradicator stand out, besides its appearance, is its unique lifeform recycling system. This allows the Eradicator to recycle destroyed vehicles, buildings, and even other lifeforms in order to generate resources. But due to the rarity and power of these creatures, only one is allowed on the battlefield at a time. The Eradicator can also assimilate Skrin infantry units, up to a maximum of three. These assimilated Skrin provide the Eradicator with additional armaments, making it an even greater force to be reckoned with. Assimilators give it the ability to regenerate damage. The more assimilators that are assimilated, the quicker the regeneration rate will be. Shock Troopers will give it anti-vehicle plasma disc weaponry, which provides both ground and, more importantly, anti-aircraft defense for the Eradicator. Disintegrators give it short-range beam weapons. Ravagers provide it with shard launchers. And finally, an assimilated prodigy or mastermind will give it the ability to teleport. The range of the teleportation is short, but it allows the Eradicator to either close the distance on enemy units or to make a retreat from them, as well as cross short chasms or get atop small cliffs. Of course, it's best for a Traveler foreman to assimilate a variety of infantry with the Eradicator, so it can make use of multiple armaments at the same time. It does have a couple of key weaknesses, though, particularly in its main attack. While being great at dealing damage to multiple units, it lacks when needing to focus fire on a single target. Even with Shock Troopers providing it anti-aircraft weaponry, it's still vulnerable to air attacks. And for the Skrin, it is quite expensive to bring to the battlefield, requiring a high amount of resources in the form of constructing technology buildings, and needing to be warped in through a special structure called the Warp Chasm. The only major battle between Traveler 59 and the hostile humans of Earth took place on the outskirts of the city of Kampala, Uganda during the Third Tiberium War. 
while other elements of the Skrin fleet were focused on attacking GDI-controlled blue zones. Traveler 59 moved to subjugate and control the populace of the African Yellow Zone. While they saw initial success bringing the civilian population under their control, forces from the Brotherhood of Nod, led by their AI known as Legion, were sent in to stop them. This is due to the fact that the Brotherhood relies heavily on the populations of Yellow Zones in order to provide them with support in the form of supplies, sanctuary, and soldiers. The battle that ensued saw the first engagement of the Nod Redeemer against the Traveler's Eradicator Hexapod. The Redeemer would ultimately overcome the Eradicator, with the assistance of other Nod units, and lead to the Brotherhood driving Traveler 59 out of the Yellow Zone, and freeing the population from its control. While Traveler 59's first real combat engagement ended in defeat, they also gained valuable knowledge from it. The Traveler sect as a whole found out that humans can be just as easily subjugated and controlled like any other life forms that they've encountered on other planets, and can even be useful for furthering their own goals. Until then, Traveler and the rest of the Skrin will have to wait for the time when the second invasion of Earth can commence, giving them another opportunity to subjugate the Earth's population completely under their control.